Nabil was arrested in July 2012. Uh, he was uh, therefore charged with illegal gathering and then sentenced in uh, December 2012 to two years of detention. Nabil's release is a huge relief for us and for the uh, human rights uh, movement in the region and in Bahrain in particular. Uh, however, we feel very disappointing as Nabil uh, should have never been uh, detained at the first place. Nabil was clearly um, sentenced for exercising uh, the, its, its, uh, its right of freedom uh, of assembly and freedom of expression and for its human rights activities as well. Um, the human rights organizations, including FIDH and other groups, have clearly, de clearly denounced the fact that uh, the, the trial against Nabil was unfair and also denounced the arbitrary nature of his uh, sentence. This, uh, this was also confirmed by a UN mechanism, in particular the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, which released in the summer, in summer 2013 uh, an opinion stating that Nabil's uh, sentence uh, was arbitrary and requested the uh, Bahraini authorities to release him uh, urgently. And Nabil's request to be granted an early release, as he was entitled to, to benefit from, was never accepted. There are other human rights defenders who are still in prison. I could mention prominent human rights defender, Abdel Hadi Al-Khawaja, the co-founder of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights and also the co-founder of the Gulf Center for Human Rights. In addition to Naji, Naji Fatil, who is uh, a board member of the Bahrain U.S. Society for Human Rights. They are still in prison. There are others, of course, we could mention many names, who are only in prison because of working for human rights. We hope that the international community will do more to ensure the release of those who are in prison and also to ensure that human rights will be respected in Bahrain. Let's celebrate Nabil rele Nabil's release today, and, but we also have to, to have a special thought for those who are today arbitrarily detained in Bahrain for the ex exercise of freedom of expression, freedom of assembly. We really hope that Nabil's release will be a new start for the for freedom of association and freedom of expression in Bahrain.